Well, you actually, uh, what you have to do is you either tag a manatee, a male manatee, and let it go in Ma uh, Hamburgo Lake, or there's another way of doing it, a little bit more crude, and that is you get a, a whole bag of manatee dung. Actually, hippo dung will do the same thing if you want, because it's all to do with them eating green, green stuff, and animals know this. You dump it in the lake in a biodegradable bag, and uh, once they get wind, or I shouldn't say wind, excuse the term wind, but once they get uh, knowledge of the fact there's an animal in there eating their stuff, they go into action. And I'd be surprised if that manatee would be around in uh, so many weeks. And also you could put um, pictures or cameras, uh, what do you call them, sensor cameras, on that table in the middle of the lake of the, uh, uh, in Hamburg. Yeah, that um, frame that's in the middle yeah. of the lake. That's it. So what do you, yeah, well, you were just talking about which creature in what location? I'm talking about the Surush, or the African dragon that's in the lake, which is, I think, uh, there was a, an Aztec leader called Quetzalcoatl, but he named himself after a creature that was known to those people back in those days. It's not unknown that Indians, North American Indians, named themselves after animals, so they got that from the South American Indians. And this is what they did with Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl is half bird, half animal, half snake. Simple. So that refers to the Sirish, you think? Well, the Sirish. Quetzalcoatl, Mokalium Bembe, the African dragon. Are all the same uh, creature? Behemoth, Behemoth, they're all the same creature. And, um, Can you shut that off now? Yeah, okay. Interview over. I don't want to finish with you drinking a pint. Say something um, important. We are going to find that creature. Great. Over and out.